Concert of the Mind, the symphony of imagination in your brain. Have you ever wondered where the wellspring of our imagination lies within the brain? We often marvel at the sheer creativity and inventiveness of our minds, but understanding its neurological roots has long challenged scientists. Today, we're diving into the latest research to explore the fascinating relationship between our brains and imagination. Our brains don't have an imagination center, a specific area dedicated solely to dreaming up different realities. Instead, our imaginative prowess emerges from an intricate interplay of multiple brain regions and networks. Known for its role in memory, the hippocampus goes beyond just helping us remember past events. It helps us conjure images of potential future scenarios too, thereby flexibly using memory to drive imagination. The intricate dance between memory and imagination is like a neural time travel of sorts. The frontoparietal control network, which includes the prefrontal and parietal cortices, is also implicated in imagination. This network acts as an imagination conductor. It maintains and manipulates our imagined scenarios, orchestrating the dynamic interaction between different cognitive processes involved in imagination. If our imagination were a symphony, this network would be our conductor. The default mode network, or DMN, consists of regions that are more active during rest and introspective thoughts. The DMN is linked to daydreaming, simulating other people's perspectives, and predicting future events. So, when you're staring out the window and dreaming up a new world, it's the DMN that's hard at work. A recent study suggested a core imagination network, or SYN, which comprises key nodes from the hippocampus, frontoparietal network, and DMN. It seems these regions work in tandem, dynamically coupling and decoupling, to support our ability to imagine. Sensory motor systems also play a role in imagination. When we imagine a scenario, we often mentally simulate the associated sensory and motor experiences. This engagement of the sensory motor systems gives our imagined scenarios their vividness and realism. In essence, imagination is a team effort within our brains, a harmonious performance by multiple regions and networks. It's not about a singular imagination center, but rather a concert of cognitive operations taking center stage. But remember, this is just the beginning. We still have much to learn about how these networks interact over time, how they differ across individuals, and how they change across our lifespan. As we continue to unlock the secrets of the brain, we may just find ourselves a step closer to understanding the profound mystery of human imagination. Remember to like and subscribe for more neuroscience news updates.